Hey everybody, Joe with Modular Home Hunters, and today we're going to take you on a little tour, a tour of a home being built, a beautiful home. This is a Palm Harbor Homes levy. We've done a video on it, and we're going to just take you from start to finish real quick on what to expect when you're having a home built. Now, first things first, you're going to need a place to put it, so that's going to take a little bit of time, permits and prep and all that, so get ready for a little wait there, whether it's your own property or in a park somewhere. Of course, while that's going on, your house is being built in the factory. And here's Palm Harbor's factory, and they put them together under quality-controlled, climate-controlled conditions, and they are regulated by HUD, DOT, and state code. For example, Florida manufactured homes are held by code to wind load requirements, which can exceed site-built homes by as much as 25%. So as far as a modern manufactured home, anyone that says otherwise does not know what they're talking about. There's no way around these standards. So you can rest assured it's built well. All right, so what's up next? Okay, so we didn't exactly get the truck bringing it here, but we were able to come to the destination of this house, at least not its final destination, but pretty close. So here is one of the sections, the B section, I believe, on the road here. And as you can see, you've got Tyvek all around, and it's been protected from the elements. And through that Tyvek, you can see the framing on the inside and some spanners there to help these big open areas keep from uh, flexing and collapsing. So it's on its steel frame, and it does have a hitch on the front, which will be cut off, which is welded on, and then it gets, just gets brought out. And here's the second half, down the road a piece, and same situation. All right, so let's take a look inside. And like I said, we have an actual tour of this house. But here's how it would look when it gets here. Here's the half, and as you can see, they got the carpet chipped loose, and everything's protected. And as you, this one's in pretty good shape, actually. It's not too banged up. You normally would see some cracks and stuff in the walls. They got your appliances protected and obviously here's the plastic and there's the spanner that keeps everything together this one's in good shape they did a, a nice job of rolling it down the road all right so this part <laughs> looks kind of hairy but they have them on these like transit machines and um, they're basically like gigantic forklifts and as you can see there's this structure there nice beam across the ceiling and that's interior studs all right so now you can see them with the little transoms here, and they're sliding it together. I prefer this method. This is great because it holds the weight from the marriage line side all the way out to the outside wall where the guys are crawling along, creeping it together. And that, I think, is the best, sturdiest way to keep it straight while you're putting it together. All right, so here's the finished product for those guys, and it, they did a nice job. Really tight line. You can see there's the marriage line. That's actually where the two pieces come together. This one has a beam for the ceiling, obviously. And that's nice and tight. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, the floor is cemented there. They got like a concrete or cement that they... And then you've got your little bit of a gap there, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, they're, they're not going to get it pancaked together at every inch. Um, these doors... Now, this, is, this part of this is nice. They got this together real tight. There's your doorways that's going into your closet and your master bath. And uh, those corners just help keep it from cracking those 45 degree angles. I'm tripping on everything, of course. And there's your ship loose stuff, trim and doors. And there's your spanners that keep the large areas from flexing. And they did a nice set here. Looks really good. Now you'll have other subcontractors out here doing different things like the stairs and the carport. And in this case, they've got a uh, little shed in the back and you can see they're getting ready on the sides here to put the skirting on so it looks all pretty outside and then on this side you can see they're getting ready with the metal studs for the rest of the skirting on the back there's your high efficiency AC alright so we can pop up here and take a look at the inside should be let's see yeah and the uh yep and the people that do the uh the trim on the inside have done their job so it looks nice it's completely trimmed out now so now you can see those marriage lines are all closed up 
It's virtually impossible to tell that it was two pieces. Awesome. And we'll just take a quick look in the master bedroom back here and you can see where they've cleaned everything up and getting it ready for whatever flooring will either be carpet or what is in this case it's going to be carpet and uh here's the doors and you know you can see they're all cased in now and looking beautiful there you go all right so the dust has settled and there you have it a beautiful new home if you like the video think about giving us a like maybe subscribing and uh, check out the video of the walk of this house and until next time happy hunting